I had to hop on here again because I seen so many comments. I seen so many comments across his social media platforms that a lot of people didn't know that Ty was nonverbal up until the age of six and a half years old. He also got diagnosed late to me. Um, he got diagnosed two weeks before he made five years old. But think about it, y'all. All that time, he wasn't getting no services, only speech. And then I pulled them out of speech because I didn't like them. They're gonna tell me that they was gonna confine him to a high chair. Man, you ain't confining my baby to no high chair. Just imagine you're already nonverbal and somebody confining you and you can't you can't tell that person you don't wanna be that boy, man, man, you're not confining my child. I took him completely out of speech. Yeah, so Y'all, a lot of them years, I just winged it. By the grace of God, I made it through. But I winged it. Um, it was it was bad. It was it was rough. It was hard, rough, and it was bad. Um, I didn't even know that he even like the first time I ever heard of him having autism, he was probably like he was three weeks before he was making three years old. And you know, like when they have a developmental uh, intellectual disability, they get to go to school at three years old. Uh, so that's what the first time I heard of it. And I had to bring him to the school board to get an assessment. Um, so I write, brought him to the school board, they assessed him for like 30 minutes. Like I said, I took him to the school board to get an assessment done on him. And they assessed him for 30 minutes and they came back and said this. They said that he had cluster signs of autism, but they couldn't classify him as autistic because he didn't have all the signs. And I know back then you had to at least have six characteristics of autism. Spectrum disorder. Arlene's parents just was down bad. Um, that boy clearly had all the signs of autism. He had the lack of eye contact. He had nonverbal. Um, instead of when he played with, he would never, he never played with toys. But if you gave him a truck, he would flip it over and spin the wheel fast, fast, fast. He would take paper and tear it and just fly it around his face like that. Um, it was hard for him to transition. Um, we had to keep a routine when we go places because if the routine, if I, if I, like say I went somewhere and I took another route, no down. When I say meltdown, that boy clearly was autistic. I even remember, like like I said, he didn't respond to his name. I thought he was deaf. I took him to get a hearing test because I thought he was deaf. I would literally, his room was like right next to mine. I would call him and it was as if he didn't hear me. So I thought he was deaf. I took him to get it. I get a, took him to get a hearing test done. Boy, I could hear. All I have to say is the school boy just was down bad. Um, and I could take accountability to, to it as well because I was uneducated about people with disabilities. And I, I should have been more equipped when I went into the meetings. But like I said, I didn't even know he was autistic. Um, all I was just told that he had a speech problem and that was my first child. Them as professionals, they knew. My, my thing was how you could do a accurate assessment whether a child has a disability within 30 minutes like my thing was and looking at it now like back then I wouldn't have never told him anything because like I said I was uneducated but I just look at it like at it now um that wouldn't have never happened um now if I knew what I knew now back then that wouldn't have never happened um I dropped the ball I dropped the ball as well. Like I say to anybody, if you hear, if you know something going, something's not right with your child, and you know something's going on, somebody may say something, go look it up, go get some help, educate yourself. I can't say it enough. Educate yourself about your child's disability, whatever you heard, educate yourself. Because that's, that's how they're able to mess over you when you don't know anything. So... My thing to people is just educate yourself on your child's disability. But um, I'll get on here again and talk to you guys about a lot of things like what I went through with Ty and all my trials and tribulations and 
all the stuff that I went through. I even talk about the um, IEP meeting we recently had. That was, man, when I say it's a beautiful meeting, the best meeting I ever had um, since Ty been getting the IEP since he's been three years old. That's this, this meeting was all that I wanted for him his whole life. So, y'all stay blessed. I got to go to um, Ty got back to school night at um, his college program. So, I'll talk to y'all about that as well. Y'all be safe. Man. Big ups to all my special needs parents out there getting it. 